Phoenix Alpha Zulu album review. Let's chat about it. Hey, friends, what's going on? John here from What's Spinning here tonight to chat about this latest album from Phoenix, French indie pop juggernauts. They've been at it since the early 2000s when they got a whole lot of people, including myself, up and moving and grooving with their debut album, United. It's an album that has aged wonderfully. It's inspired by, I don't know, just classic synth pop as well as some new disco flair as well. And while their follow-up was downright sloppy in parts, I still think Alphabetical had some pretty smooth moments. No, for me, though, it really began to truly click with me with Phoenix with their It's Never Been Like That. This was a super smooth, incredibly catchy, impeccably charming album that was inspired by New Wave in parts, maybe even a little post-punk. But I feel like I really got Phoenix's sound, and just in time, because they were about to release their absolute stone-cold classic Wolfgang Amadeus Phoenix, which still to this day has so many iconic tracks, and such a hip album, and once again has aged wonderfully. A lot of Phoenix's earlier stuff has. I mean, yeah, I, I wasn't that into Bankrupt overall as an album, but even then, when they were cleaning up their act quite a bit on this album, I still at least loved a lot of the singles, and you know, there was at least a good hunk of deep cuts that I enjoyed. And now, the last time we heard from Phoenix was with Teyamo a couple of years ago, and it certainly had its highlights, uh, like the title track, as well as J-Boy, but overall, I was very lukewarm on the album. I just wasn't excited about what they were doing anymore. I kind of felt like they were playing it safe, and... I don't know, I felt the album was stiff. It didn't have the personality and swagger of their early material, which leads me to this new album. They are first in uh, quite a few years, actually, and I did enjoy the singles leading up to it. Let's chat about it. This album starts off with its title track, Alpha Zulu. It, you know what? It's a great intro, and instantly I can tell you I enjoy this more than anything on Teyamo. It's got a strong, glistening groove, some great production, and some charismatic performances, the likes of which I haven't heard from Phoenix since maybe Wolfgang Amadeus Phoenix. It's a whole lot more confident than their last two releases, and I am very happy to report that. It's a sharp, catchy indie pop tune with nods to classic synth pop as well as some new disco. Can I really ask for anything more? I really can't, and to be honest, I've been humming this track for the last few days. I'm happy to report, while not perfect, Phoenix on this album at least recapture the swagger of their earlier tunes. Then we have Tonight featuring Ezra Koenig of Vampire Weekend fame, and ever since it dropped as a single, I have enjoyed it quite a bit. I mean, honestly, I think Ezra actually has a lot more influence than just a few vocals on this cut. No, this actually sounds like a revamped Vampire Weekend track. It's super catchy, it's super hip, and I can't listen to this and not smile. It's a great single. I mean, I'm going to be honest with y'all, I think the whole first leg of this album is really enjoyable. I love the whimsical, youthful vibes on The Only One. It's so sunny. Production is sleek, but I love just, you know, like I said, how sunny and bright it is, how emotional it gets. A lot of the material, at least on the first leg of this album, reminds me of what I once adored about Phoenix. On the other hand, after Midnight, I needed a track like this. It's upbeat and practically new wave inspired. We've been here before, but this sounds refreshed and not rehashed. It's punchy, it's a lot of fun, and not only that, but they're playing with some passion here, and that is great to hear. I just really wish that the band could keep it up from track to track, especially for the whole album, because then I hear tracks like Season 2 and I just kind of fall off. This is pretty average, even if the production is nice and I do enjoy the fluttering synths, but of all the tracks on here, this sounds the most rehashed. This sounds like Phoenix trying to grip onto their heyday. If you told me this was a reworked track from like 10 years ago, I, I would actually believe it. And I think that Artifact is probably the worst track here. I mean, I can't think of a more phoned-in performance. I mean, it's vibrant and playful, but the lack of energy is glaring. It just ends up being a sad state of affairs. It's just a cheesy mess. And my elixir, it's just so freaking boring. I mean, I don't mind Phoenix going for a more laid-back, sort of dreamy and hazy sort of tune. They've done it in the past. It's been fine, but this is passionless. It's uninspired, and it plods along for over three minutes without really doing anything to grab my attention. That being said, this album overall is 
pretty darn enjoyable. Winter Solstice, I've enjoyed it since it dropped as a single. It is a little bit more on the long-ended side of the spectrum for Phoenix. I mean, I was actually kind of shocked to hear this as a single because it is one of the bigger risks that they take here, but that's what excites me about it. It's freaking cool. It takes a turn for the kaleidoscopic and psychedelic, and I needed that. The production specifically is impressive here. I love the colorful instrumentals, the intense synths that we get here. It's all pretty freaking hip, and it's much more meditative. It's not upbeat. It's not a big, catchy hook here, but it's the kind of risk that I wish we heard more of. All Eyes on Me, on the other hand, is super cool, very different. It's much more gritty, even a little dark. Dare I say there's some post-punk vibes. And you know what? I wish we heard more of this because this is what I wanted to hear from Phoenix. Something new, not rehashed. Something that, you know, gave them a reason to put this album out. Phoenix are clearly capable of still pushing boundaries. I mean, look at this album's finale, identical. I mean, this is the longest track here by far. It's a plus five minute track, and from Phoenix, I didn't know how to feel about that. But you know what? It's not bad at all. It's one of the most progressive and forward-thinking tracks here. This, to me, sounds like the next big leap for Phoenix, which kind of leads to my biggest gripe with this album. This album is much more enjoyable than Teyamo, and I think it's better than Bankrupt at the end of the day, for sure. Um, honestly, though, I just feel like it's a little safe at the end of the day. Yes, it's very likable. You can put it on, and you can feel good, and you can smile, and you can groove a little bit, but... I don't really hear that next chapter in Phoenix's discography. But still, like here, we get a fantastic beat, layers of synths, things we haven't heard here on the rest of the album, and that at least excites me and leaves a good taste in my mouth uh, for the finale of this album. I just wish that they took a little bit more of a forward leap like that. Still, though, it's a very enjoyable indie pop album. It's a very enjoyable album from Phoenix, and I have no issue with it. I just wish they pushed the boundaries a little bit more. It's a very safe release, but that being said, it's pretty solid. I'm feeling a light 7 on this album, but let me know what you all think down below. If you like the video, be sure to give us a like, give us a subscribe, and let me know down below what you would like for me to chat about in the future. And until next time, have a great day, friends.